Normally I'll start with my eyebrows because eyebrows just frame the whole eye and you can really control how big everything looks. Now I just like to go in with this NYX pencil thing and this is just a personal preference but I like to make my eyebrows look a little bit more bushy and just full and big so I just exaggerate a few lines to make the brows look even bigger and longer and while we're at it I'm gonna add a few freckles Pretty much just gonna use Lime Crime Venus palette because that's just my go-to palette I guess. These are the colors. Um, I never use the pink ones. I've never used either of these but I, yeah, you, uh, you don't care. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, I always kind of start with the Divine as my base color because I don't know why, that's just how it be. I think a really key part about having huge eyes is you put the eyeshadow significantly above your lid. Like if you just put it um, like right where your lid is, like right here, um, it's not gonna really give you that huge eye effect. You have to like Put it pretty up there, like almost to your brow. And then um, this will make your eyelid look bigger, which will end up making your whole eye look bigger. After putting this on, I'm realizing that I forgot to clean my brushes before because this clearly has like a red tint to it and Divine, as you can see, is not a red tint it's just like this grayish color um so clearly i just mixed this gray color with like a reddish that was on this before i'm really helpful and good this is why i'm not a beauty guru basically if you mix any colors that are similar to this at all it doesn't even have to be this palette it'll work for this look so now i'm gonna do the same thing with a smaller brush and just put it under my eye. It's already making my eyes look pretty big, I think, because of how high it goes close to the brow, and it just like makes this huge circle that kind of just makes the whole eye look a lot bigger. Because I'm trash and I didn't clean my brushes, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in with uh, Muse, this dark red color, which is my go-to color. I probably use this more than any other color of eyeshadow that I own. And we're gonna put that in like the the crease slash outer corner, I think are the right words for that. And again, I'm really blending it up um, as close to my brow basically as I can. And then again, with the smaller brush, we're gonna go in the uh, outer corner on the bottom. And then just to kind of open up the eye, I take this sparkly white color and I just, I just go in with a clean finger like this. Can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> and then I, just like lightly dab it onto the corner and it just gives you that like brighter, more open look. And that's it for the eyeshadow. Um, sometimes I get more fancy with it and I put a lot um, darker colors in the crease and stuff, but Honestly, keeping it simple works for this look as well, so that's what we're just gonna do today. 
Now the not so fun part. We've got this black smudge pot by Stila or Stila. I'm not really sure how you say that. And then this brush by ColourPop E6. It's just this little angled brush. And we're just gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on. Just a classic winged eye. As it happens with eyeliner, I kind of messed that up a little bit. Um, it's really hard to get a straight line, especially when you didn't clean your brush and it still had chunks of eyeliner from the previous time you did it. I'm really good. I like to go in with purple on my waterline because I have, I don't know, I have like hazel eyes, I guess. They're kind of like a, they're brown, but I feel like in bright lights like this, they're like a nice swamp green. Purple highlights green. If you have green eyes or swamp eyes like me, maybe try going in with a purple on the waterline. That's kind of been my go-to thing forever. Now, just because I feel like it, I'm going to go in down here and here with a dark color like icon it's like really dark brown but this also works with like black and like anything dark basically whatever you have um i just like the little shadow that it gives me when i have like a really dark color uh right here So last step, um, mascara. Just whatever mascara works best for your lashes. I go like this to just make sure I didn't really miss anything. This mascara is also like pretty much out. There's pretty much nothing on here, but it's all I have right now, so what we're doing so yeah um sometimes i add fake eyelashes if i feel like it which today i do not so and pretty much like how i pose in pictures if i want my eyes to look really big is you tilt the chin back so the eyes are closer to the camera kind of like i've been doing this whole video because i'm just trying to like get my face get my eyes like up in here so you can really see what I'm doing but this angle definitely makes the eyes look bigger and especially if you look down with your like big ass eyeshadow your lid just looks huge so yeah um that was my look I hope you enjoyed um let me know if you liked it if you followed along at home and if you I don't know. This is makeup for people who don't know how to do makeup because I'm sure there's plenty of beauty gurus out there who give much better tips than I do. I don't even know what I'm doing really, but I'm just showing you how I do my eyes to make them look huge and it's just a simple, quick, fun little thing. So yeah, um, you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> Or you could not. You could just, you know, do whatever you want. Alright. Goodbye. <laughs>